Laurel TV and our Super League preview for this weekend's games. Martin Sadler, the editor of League Publications, joins me. I suppose the best place to start is tonight's televised game, Martin, between Huddersfield and Wigan. A big opportunity for Huddersfield to close the gap on the top four, isn't it, tonight? Well, it's an opportunity, but whether they'll take it or not, Aaron, is a different matter. Yeah, Huddersfield need to win this game, really, because you know they're, they're, they're in the middle of the cycle of, of three games against St Helens, Wigan and Leeds. And Danny Bruff had been saying in, in our newspaper a week or two ago that these games are going to be a real testing point in the season for, for, for the Giants. And they failed the first test, of course, at uh, St Helens last Friday night. So they urgently need to put in a good show against Wigan. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not that confident that they'll do it because I, I, I tend to think that Huddersfield play well on dry surfaces and it's obviously going to be a wet one tonight. Of course, Wigan have um, got Sean O'Loughlin coming back into the side, as well as Matty Bowen, mm -hmm. although they'll be without Michael McAloran. But, uh, you know, there's that old thing of Wigan never lose when <laughs> O'Loughlin's playing. It's true. So, you know, it would be an unusual thing tonight if they did lose without him. Huddersfield, on the other hand, have um, left out Craig Kopjak. Um, uh, dropped him, actually, not, yeah, he's not, been he's not injured, he's been, he's been dropped, <coughs> and... And that's a really interesting move, isn't it, for Paul Anderson? Yeah, because yeah. you think that a, you know, a, a big strong forward like Kopjak is just the sort of person you need against an aggressive side like Wigan, but um, but seemingly not. So, uh, you know, I think I think I think the odds are against Huddersfield tonight. What uh, uh, you know, I don't know what your thoughts. Yeah, are, I think it looks it looks a tough task for Huddersfield, and if Wigan get the win, then Castleford also win this weekend. There's a six point gap between them and the top four, so it does look tough. Tomorrow night's televised game is Warrington against Leeds. Warrington, another side, looking to keep up the pace with the top four, whilst Leeds are looking to extend the lead at the top of the Super League. How do you see that one going? Well, you know, Warrington um, remind me a bit of Wigan, in, but but substitute Benny Westwood for Sean O'Loughlin. Warrington struggled to win without Benny Westwood. He came back from the Magic Weekend, um, had a blinder mm -hmm. against St Helens, and Warrington were convincing winners. Unfortunately, then uh, gets suspended this week. He's going to miss Friday night's game, um, and that will, you know, that that's a real negative for Warrington, uh, be, be, being without him. For Leeds, Jamie Peacock is coming back into the side now. Again, Jamie Peacock is is another of those players yeah, who is absolutely vital. Yeah. A talismanic player, no doubt about it. So I think that um, I think I would marginally go for Leeds to win that game, but. You never know. It's it, you know Warrington have been coming back to form recently, and it's going to be as important for them to win without Westwood as it was for Wigan to win without O'Loughlin. If you recall, a few weeks ago, when when Wigan went to Hull without without O'Loughlin, Sean Wayne really made a big point to his players that they had to be able to win without their captain, and no doubt Tony Smith will be doing the same yeah. thing with uh, his players against Leeds on Friday night. So it's, it's just. You know, uh, Sky have really, you know, drawn a, you know, drawn a lucky straw this week, haven't they? You know, two great games for TV, you know, that anybody should want to watch. And I just hope there are going to be big crowds at both games and big TV audiences because they, I'm, I'm sure they'll both deserve them. Yeah, a, a lot of tough games this weekend, a lot of tough games to call. Another one is at the uh, Stobart Stadium on Friday night as Weakness take on Catalan. Catalan's increasingly Jekyll and Hyde form continues with a good win against Bradford in the south of France, but my word, they've got some troubles in England, haven't they? Yeah, they just can't win in England, can they, it seems? I mean, they, they, they struggle to beat London Broncos at the, at the um, Magic Weekend at, uh, at Manchester. Um, they could have easily lost that game, and, you know, they've not shown as much in any visit to England this year, and the, the really strange thing about it is that they sometimes they seem to come on the day and fly home mm -hmm. uh, you know, on the same night. Sometimes they come here for a few days, stay in a hotel in Manchester, and still can't win. Um, so, you know, what, what can they do? It's, it's, it's very difficult for them because, <coughs> excuse me, they've got some, some really great players, um, you know, exciting players. I mean, Morgan Escaré is one of the most exciting players to, you know, to have been produced by Super League for, for several years. He's, he's a Billy Slater clone, really, in many respects. But they just don't seem able to put it together when it counts in in England. So I'm, I'm predicting a fairly big witness win on, yeah, in that game. With the mercurial Kevin Brown in the ranks as well, it'll be hard to bet against. The final game on Friday 
is at Langtree Park, St Helens take on out of sorts Salford. How desperate will Salford be for a win? And if they lose this one, how worried will they be about being clawed into a relegation fight? Well, two, two key questions there. A, they will be desperate. B, they will be in the relegation battle if they don't win. And C, I don't think they will win. You know, let's face it, the, um, the Red Devils have, have disappointed uh, this year, um, not least Dr. Marwan Kukat, I would think, who's, who must be devastated, really, by, by their lack of progress since, since he appointed Yest, Yestin Harris. But um, they've got some really great players at, at, uh, at, at Salford, and, and they seem to have been a bit unlucky, I think, anyway, in some of their more, more recent games. You know, the Wigan game last week, they scored several tries that were disallowed by the video referee because of really strange obstructions that I, I found it difficult to come to terms with. So I can only imagine what Dr. Kukash thinks. And one of these days, I think they are going to suddenly click. One of these days, they're going to suddenly click. Now, it may or may not be against St. Helens on Friday night. I doubt whether it will be, but I'm, I, I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if, if, if it were that game. Um, you know, you, you, you can't see Saints losing, but Saints do have the habit sometimes of taking their opponents for granted, and this could be one of those games. So I think it could be closer than we all think. Yeah, perhaps it could be. That is it for part one of Total RL TV Super League preview for this weekend. In part two, we'll be looking at the, two, the one game on Saturday in the capital as London Castle <laughs> FC, and the two games on Sunday, including a massive clash between Bradford <laughs> and Whitfield. Sure.